Maya Wiley wants to be the next mayor of New York City, replacing Bill de Blasio. In fact, she has been endorsed by Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. So you can imagine that Maya Wiley believes very strongly in defunding the police. In fact, at a recent debate, Maya Wiley suggested we might disarm the New York City Police Department. Attorney General Tish James is proposing legislation to limit cops from firing their weapons, use of force as a last resort. Now, some might ask, why not go all the way and take away the guns altogether? Well, look, you know, one of the things we have to do is acknowledge that the mayor's job is safety. Will you take the guns away from them? And that does mean that we want smart policing. Uh, I think we know that we have a problem with illegal guns coming into this city. But will you but take we, the guns away from the NYPD? I am not prepared to make that decision in a debate. Well, you'll be surprised by two things. One, she's being funded by George Soros. She's under Soros shill, just like Bill Kristol and all the rest of the people who say things that clearly aren't good for America. Why? Because Soros. The second thing you might not be shocked to learn, and we learned this from the Daily Mail, is that Maya Wiley doesn't really believe in defunding the police. How do we know this? Because she and her neighbors pay thousands of dollars every year for their own private police to protect their neighborhood, including Wiley's $2.75 million home. Carol Markowitz is a columnist at the New York Post. She joins us tonight to assess. Carol, thanks so much for coming on. It's kind of amazing that someone with a straight face would say defund the police, take away their guns, and then pay for her own private police? Or should we not be shocked? That's right. You know, I was on your show last summer, and I said the only people who want to defund the police are rich people. And here we go, Maya Wiley here to prove it. Exactly. A rich person who wants to strip poor people of services, who wants to take away their police department, who wants to take away their gifted education for their kids while her kids go to gifted education. Now, obviously, she's against school vouchers, even though her kids go to private school. So she's one of the typical hypocrites that we have running in New York City. But Maya Wiley candidacy is for people who like the incompetence of the Bill de Blasio administration, but just don't think he's quite Marxist enough. What's so interesting and, and honestly infuriating is that Maya Wiley is a rich person. That's OK. I am, too. Mm -hmm. She sends her kids to private schools. She has private security and all the rest. But she poses as a victim. How does she get away with that? That's right. Well, you know, a friendly media always helps. Uh, but I think that the real thing is that a lot of New York liberals are just like her. They are also wealthy. They also want to defund the police. And I guess they have in their minds that they could always hire private security, just like Maya Wiley. Um, you know, I saw Bill de Blasio, Mayor Bill de Blasio, walking around Park Slope yesterday. I mean, it was middle of the day and he wasn't at work, but he didn't have security with him. So she's really to his left, where she really is do as I say, not as I do. Shouldn't there be, really quick, some kind of law that requires the people who make our laws to live with the consequences of the laws they make? Well, that would be nice, Tucker. Uh, I'm not going to count on Maya Wiley to pass any laws like that, because <laughs> um, I think they would be most harmful to her. You know, if you're into equity and diversity and inclusion, you should not be allowed to go to Aspen or Martha's Vineyard, ever. You should be living next to Section 8, and I'm right. dead serious. Carol Markowitz, great person. Good to see you tonight. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.